Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I do have full sun outside and I'm filming with my back camera uh, for a while. So I was thinking to kind of redo my petmograph swatches on the lips uh, for the satin lipsticks. Um, I do have another one, uh, but that one I just swatched it and it's not as clear for the swatches. I did make also hand swatches. So if you want to see only like the hand swatches, uh, for these lipsticks, you can go and watch that. I do have direct sun uh, through my window. So I think this is a better way to for you to see how these lipsticks look. Now these all are like satin lipsticks. They came in this kind of packaging plastic with this uh, beautiful like ribbon in here. Uh, it is really nice for displaying. Um, it feels a little bit uh, cheap. It's not as luxurious as... Uh, the matte formula packaging let's say uh, but however the formula for these lipsticks are really really nice i do have all 17 of them i think they are 17 uh, i bought them last year uh, when they were available and i think i bought them in like a sale or something um, this will be swatched in no particular order i grade them uh, i did not divide them in like nudes or reds so it will be in the order that are uh, placed in the box so first shade that we have in here, it is Petalica and this is in like pink packaging. Uh, sometimes this is pink, sometimes this is blue. This is how it looks. So this is uh, Petalica. It's a really beautiful uh, peachy corally shade. Uh, these are very comfortable on the lips, very kind of give a shine. They have pigment. So the formula, it is really, really stunning on this. Uh, sometimes pay attention if you order this uh, on the lipstick, they might touch uh, here, the bullet. So it happens uh, when it arrives here, some of them were like this, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. That's why I'm saying the packaging feels a little bit cheap. So this is Petalica. This shade, it is called Infatuation. And this is the blue packaging, uh, same as pink, just in blue. Um, this, I think it was kind of inspired from Bridgenton kind of theme. Uh, this is how the lipstick looks. This is more like a, a beautiful purplish shade, let's say, wine shade. Uh, let's try it on the lips. So this is Infatuation, it is a beautiful white, uh, like wine purplish shade, really stunning for like all season um, and yeah, it is really pretty. Next shade I'm going to try, it is called Untamed Desire, this comes in pink packaging. And this is, I think, an everyday, like, nude kind of brownish shade. So this is Untamed Desire. It is a really pretty nude chocolate shade, really stunning for everyday nude. I really love this one. But next shade, it is Kinsade 2. Pink packaging. This is how it looks. Again, this is going to be, I think, a beautiful nude shade. Kin Sane 2 is definitely uh, your lips but better kind of nude. Really uh, almost noticeable. It is really nice for someone who wants a lipstick with a shine, comfortable nourishment. But you don't want um, too much color on the lips, I believe. Uh, so this is how it looks on me. Next shade we have in the flesh of uh, a nude brownish nude. Let's try it on the lips. Yes, definitely your lips were better. It is a little bit darker than the previous one. So this is in the flesh, a really beautiful kind of nude for everyday uh, makeup looks, let's say. This is really pretty also. Now the next shade, it is Divine Rose. It comes in blue packaging. 
this is how it looks this definitely has like a pink purplish lavender in it it's really pretty by itself also it looks divine rose uh, it's not my kind of uh, nude but it is pretty definitely goes with kind of pink vibes that it is now next shade we have it is boudoir bloom and this seems to be also like a nude shade brownish more darken so yes this is also like a nude but more on the purplish side uh, this is how it looks it is also like an everyday kind of nude shade but more with like purplish you know, vibes in it it is really really pretty this one and this is boudoir bloom next shade we have here it is called nude fantasia and probably it is like a nude shade yes this is a lightest new shade um, i don't know exactly how this will look on me okay this gives more like concealer lips definitely with a lip liner this is like that kind of nude that you want to use with a lip liner or if you like this kind of nude shade a little bit of peach but definitely it is more like a concealer lips it, it is nice uh, but i will not wear it as it is this this color in particular next shade we have here it is called negligee let's see how uh, it looks it's also uh, like a nude shade brownish let's swatch it yeah definitely your lips but better this i like this i'll wear it like more like a lip balm let's say with a little bit of color so this is how negligee looks your lips but better it's more like on a brownish uh, kind of vibes but it is really pretty by itself next shade we have here it is called venusian peach and hopefully it will be a peach shade this is how it looks and let's swipe my lips but better it definitely has some peach in it um, it is a really pretty shade everyday kind of nude this is how venusian peach looks i do like it it's very summery spring and it's kind of going well with this makeup look uh, yeah this is this i like next shade we have in here it is nude romantic 2 uh, let's swatch it definitely a nude shade more like on the brownish i think side yeah again your lips but better brownish shade really pretty this is how nude romantic um, two looks it is an everyday nude shade a lot of nudes in this collection so i think this is meant for like an everyday use however the packaging it's something that it's kind of bothering me when i like pick up uh, to choose my lipstick when i want to take it out with me uh, so i hope she will change the packaging it is starting for displaying but um, not for kind of travel situation that we have in here this night kiss and this uh, I, so I think it is going to be a little bit more dark on yes it, uh, it looks like a darker rich brown shade this is how night kiss looks it's not as intense as in here because these are more like satin mm, the pigment is not going to be as intense you can build it up however it is a beautiful like nude kind of more intense nude uh, shade really really pretty and stunning and i do like that now i have uh, still sun and you can see how beautiful this shine on the lips next shade we have in here it is nude venus now i do have nude venus in like matte formula and that is a really beautiful peach shade this is how nude venus looks it's 
it looks also like a nude everyday nude i don't know if it's going to be peachy uh it's definitely more that concealer lips vibes still i could wear it like this how nude venus look on me definitely i do need a lip liner or it's just a bold look with uh, like bare lips um this goes well with the makeup also i do like it next shade we have here it is called entrance and if you are hearing a noise i don't know what my neighbors are doing so please ignore the noise uh, i have three more shades to swatch so this is entrance it is more like a dark brown shade rich brown shade definitely this is more like a wine brownish shade with a little bit of purplish in it it is really pretty how entrance looks uh, i do like this shade more for like autumn winter time um, i do like it it is pretty by itself no lip liner needed kind of next shade it is called veiled rose so let's see how it looks Another kind of nude shade, brownish nude shade. Yeah, definitely kind of a rose shade, a nude rose shade. It is pretty also this one. So this is veiled rose. It is also an everyday. I think a lot of nudes in here, like a lot of shades that you can wear it like for everyday kind of rose. Uh, so this is nice next shade we have Fleur Fatale and let's see okay this is kind of a red kind of vibes wine red lipstick yes definitely a deep wine purplish shade this is Fleur Fatale it's more like a fuchsia I don't know it's something in this color i don't have many colors like this in my collection uh but this is stunning uh, the name it's kind of suits it's like a very beautiful stunning shade really love this one the last lipstick that i have in here it is crimson uh, ecstasy this is kind of the only red kind of lipstick that she has in this formula It's more like a orange red lipstick uh, it does have an orange and it is bright it is one of my favorite um, from her and this is how crimson ecstasy looks on me uh, definitely my kind of uh, orange red lipstick shiny uh, beautiful really beautiful and very comfortable on the lips and uh, I boiled it um, two or three times to get this kind of opacity but this is a stunning stunning shade and this was the last kind of uh, lipstick from this collection um, I do love the formula the formula it is stunning very comfortable um, easy to apply to wear uh, the shine it is in here the pigment it is in here you get a lot of nudes from this shade so I think um, this collection is kind of dedicated more for the nudes uh, but anyway the the formula from her it is really stunning i wish she will change the packaging uh, like the matte formula has it because it's more simple and it's more nice when you uh, if i want to take it with me this will kind of uh, get stuck in the clothes or in the purse so it's it's fun for like displaying it looks really pretty but not for traveling let's say and this was my video i will link uh, where you can buy this and what i'm wearing on the face on the eyes if you shop to my links thank you it really helps my channel thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy this kind of videos um, in kind of natural light if i'm kind of doing this is just because of the sun i cannot watch direct from the camera um, but yeah, I wish you to have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.